This is only a week after Investor Place published an article that people should invest or bet $100 on AMC stock today they have even more interesting article. According to them, even though Bridgewater Associates Ray Dalio's hedge fund sold their position in AMC stock, you should pay very close attention to this. AMC stock outlook billionaire bails out but does a comeback bacon. A Wall Street expert sees AMC Entertainment's box office trend as a catalyst for the stock. Investor Place points out that Bridgewater Associates reportedly sold the entire stake in AMC Entertainment. But on the other hand, one analyst sees AMC as being on the road of recovery. Investors should own a small stake or none at all. In contrast with skeptics, Macquarie Research Analyst Chad Bannon is optimist about AMC stock future prospects. Bannon sees that the road to recovery for AMC Entertainment is getting better with box office trend. The analyst anticipates the domestic industry box office revenue will reach $8.7 billion in 2023. If this thing actually happens, it would represent a 19% year-over-year improvement. However, it is still wouldn't be enough to compare to 2019 and pre-virus situation. The analyst expectations are that the movie theater will have eventually a happy ending. We expect AMC's business to grow with the market and benefit from strong flow through given significant fixed costs in business. I tend to concur with Bainan's assessment, but cautious investors should continue to monitor AMC Entertainment's facts and figures closely, including domestic box office receipts. But you don't think that Trade Dalius purchased AMC and GameStop around the same time for the fundamental value, don't you? He had a small position, very small position. Even people were arguing that the position is so small that it doesn't make any sense to put the shares on loan because it's simply the, the whole process, you know, going back and forth won't be worth the time and the money that he will be most likely collecting from the interest. This is why the speculations were before that when they actually purchased the shares, they're expecting something different. Some people call it even the squeeze. So now seeing probably one of the of the more bellish analysts in general on AMC, seeing, uh, you know, bullish expectations and, you know, threatening the company's fundamentals, well, essentially something good has to be said about the company. Many, many improvements on each and every line on the balance sheet. This is why I guess comments like this in the article make so much sense. At the end of the day, I feel that it's fine to hold a few shares of AMC Entertainment in your portfolio. Just be aware that AMC stock can be highly volatile, so it's wise to keep one's position size very, very small. If you're not comfortable with that, feel free to grab some popcorn and watch AMC Entertainment from a safe distance. It's kinda commercial, sounds like. But overall, guys, good. Hardly to find good positive news about the company, it's not only fundamentals, but uh, sounds like a good, you know, appreciation towards investors as well. For a, for a very first time, people usually have a very bad attitude against individual investors, in particular of MCI or around GameStop stuff. So now we're seeing some kind of appreciation. Somebody might even find a particular strategy, you know, pushing people to buy in for what heck of a reason. I don't know. No, they dropped the figure of 100 hours last week to bet 100 hours on AMC. You know, interesting, interesting. Let me know what do you guys think about this. Yeah.